So once you've done that, you want to put these back on, making sure that this fits on, and that won't fit on that way. So it's obviously, uh, oh no, wait, yeah, it is that way. Sorry, making sure it's long ways, not that way, because I've done that in the past, and that sucks. Because then you've got to undo it all and do that all over again. So put this back on. So you can hear those clicking into place. And then you want to put the other one on. This is the new heatsink, but um, it will work for the older models as well. Okay, now you need to turn it over, making sure you hold the heat sinks while you do this. Uh, the bolts won't move because the the heat sinks have held them in place already. Then you want to get your little black screws, um, put them in place. What I normally do is just do the the um, I put all the black screws on just with my hand. And then I use the T8 screwdriver that you need to do this to screw them in. And uh, this can be a pain in the ass if you haven't got a friend helping you do this because they become magnetic and uh, they like to glue <laughs> themselves onto the screwdriver. As you can see. So make sure you give them a little twist when you're doing this. Now I'm not doing them up too tight yet. I'm just putting them on so that they've got a hold of the heat sinks. Another magnetic one. Okay, now once they are a hold, you should be able to let go of the heat sinks, put the whole thing down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the rest of these screws around the outside to hold the motherboard close and tight to the uh, this back plate here. Um, I use a T10 screwdriver for this, but you, I think you can use the T8 as well, but they won't tighten up as easy, and these, these, this T8 screwdriver is so much easier, you can get this anywhere, America, I'm pretty sure, or America, Canada, wherever you are in that region, um, I'm pretty sure you can get them in uh, your local electronic store. Uh, so it's the T8 and the T10. If you can't afford both, then just get the T8 because that will fit the, the little black screws and these. So I'm just screwing those in nice and firmly until they can't go any further. And then once you have done this, Nearly done. There we are. They're all tight on. Now get your T8 again and tighten up the rest of these black ones. You want them on there as tight as you can. so that no heat 
is going away from the heat sinks. It's all going into the heat sinks because that's their job, synchronizing the heat. Without them, you'd be doomed. Or you'd need to water cool it somehow, which I'm sure people have done in the past, but who the hell wants to spend the money on that doing that? It's pointless. This will work, I hope. Okay, so they're all done. They're all firmly on. Um, that's all done. Um, now what you want to do is get your fans. Um, I have two sets of fans. I actually, this is from an Xbox that was completely fried. Someone had fried it, and I made it into a USB connection. Um, and I might modify this one by putting that in, but I haven't decided yet. But these are the original fans, so put these in. I'm sure you know how to do this. Just clip right in. Uh, do not plug this in yet. Just leave that unplugged. Um, and then you want to connect the uh, disk drive cables in. And put the disk drive in. This had the three red rings before I did this. Um, so that's done. And then you want to put the button for the on off back on, which goes in the front, like so. Screw in those little black screws. Probably be easier if I tilt this up and put the hard the disk drive in last, but oh well. Uh, using the T8 screwdriver again to screw them in. These don't need to be super tight on because they're just to hold it in place. Really, doesn't they don't transfer any heat. So that's on. Um, and now move this crap out of the way don't need to put this back on yet and you want to plug your power lead in um, and then all you want to do is turn on the power button It'd be, probably be a good idea if I actually plugged it in. Okay, that's plugged in. Turn the bow button on. It's just an ordinary green light. Oh, you want to make sure that you haven't got a CD in the drive just in case that like screws up. So make sure you've got nothing in here. Take whatever is in there out. Close it up and this, as you can see the fans aren't spinning um, because I haven't plugged them in um, and you want to leave that there for a good two to three minutes I'll leave it here real time so that you know I haven't done anything to it um, because without the fans it's going to get really really hot and you want it to get as hot as possible until it shuts itself off or two red ring or two red lights show for some reason this is a new model, the the newer model, and um, normally it would show four red lights because I haven't got the AV cable in, um, and then it would go down to three because I've got three red rings before, but for some reason it doesn't do it, it just, it just shows up a green light, but it doesn't matter, it's still working. So as you can see it's just one green light there, and the camera quality is really crap, so um, you just want this to stay here for like another two minutes or so. I shall put the clock there. No, I'll put it there. 
Um, in the meantime, 